Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this month's Connect with Control M session. My name is Trinidad Gaitan, and I'll be your facilitator for this webinar. Today, we will demonstrate how to upgrade the Control M client and change the JRE package in Control M for 921. We have three presenters today from the Control M support team Jonathan Bundy, Adrian Enriquez, and Ryan Rodriguez. We recommend going to full screen mode during this presentation by pressing the full screen button. Please note that this presentation is available via the files pod at the bottom of your screen. For any questions you may have during the presentation, please post them in the Q&A pod. We will be addressing your questions at the end of the session. Today we'll explain the topics that you see here. We'll be upgrading the Control M client and then updating the JRE package for the EM, server, and AI plugin. Afterwards, we'll take your questions during a live Q&A session. For our first demonstration, Jonathan will demonstrate how to upgrade the client without installing Java on every workstation. Jonathan, please go ahead. Hi, my name is Jonathan Bundy. I'm a technical support analyst with the Control M team. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the Control M desktop client upgrade using a network Java path. To perform or in installation or upgrade of the Control M client, a 64-bit Java 1.8 is required. Fortunately, the installer can run Java on a network path. To define the network path that Java is located on, we'll need to edit the client deploy java.properties file. This will tell the installer where Java can be found to run when it's time to upgrade or install a Control M client. Next, we're going to demonstrate an upgrade of a Control M desktop client using a network Java path. First, we need to define that network Java path on the EM in the client underscore deploy underscore Java dot properties file. This file can be found in the client underscore updates slash conf directory of your Control M Enterprise Manager installation. I've pasted that path into the file after Java home path equals. Now we're going to save that change. Once that change has been saved, we can now download the Control M client installer from Control M Web. Next, we'll need to download the Control M client installer from your Control M Web welcome page. On your welcome page, click on the download button under Control M clients. This will download a file called ga underscore installer.exe. You can download this to any location that you have access to on your workstation. Next, we're going to run the GA installer executable that we just downloaded. This is going to check that Java path and then download the installation media from your EEM component. Once the download is complete, the installation files will be extracted to a temporary folder. Now the installer will run. You'll be presented the terms of the license agreement, and then you'll be presented to either perform a new installation or upgrade an existing one. In this case, we're going to select one to upgrade. This screen will show you the details of the upgrade you're about to perform, and you also have an option here to generate an automatic installation file to use for other upgrades. Click Next to proceed with the upgrade. Once the installation preparations finish, you'll need to make sure to shut down any Control M clients that you have open. By checking this yes here, those processes will automatically be shut down and you can click Upgrade to complete the upgrade. Once the upgrade is complete, you'll be notified of its success and you can click Done to exit the installer. When you open the client after the upgrade is completed, you'll see the new version shown under Control M. You can also verify the version after the upgrade by opening the installation's installed versions.txt file. This file will show the date and version of the initial installation, as well as the date and version of any subsequent upgrades. That concludes the demonstration of the 
client upgrade using Network Java. I'll go ahead and pass it back to Trini. Thank you, Jonathan, for showing how to upgrade the client. Our next one is about how to update the JRE package for Control-M Enterprise Manager and Control-M Server. We have Adrian, who is going to lead us through this presentation. Adrian, please go ahead. Thank you, Trini, for the introduction. Today, I will be demonstrating the procedure to update the Java package used by the Control-M Enterprise Manager and the Control M server. Let's start with the GRE package used by the Control M Enterprise Manager. But before that, I want to mention that if you are performing this procedure on an Enterprise Manager version previous to 9.0.21 Fixpack 200, you might get the error showing on the screen while executing the update Java Home script. In that case, please apply the solution described in the article number showing in the screen which I'm going to show you now. Okay, so here I am, in my Control M Enterprise Manager, version 21, Facebook 100, and here I am on my BMC install scripts folder, and I'm going to execute the command. So this is the error that you will receive when you execute this script. I also want to clarify that you will receive this error if you are executing this script also for Control M server and for the Control M agents on versions before 21 Facebook 200. Okay, so in order to fix this error, the first thing we need to do is obviously make a backup copy of the script, which I'm doing now. And after that, we are going to modify the script We will need to go to the line 140. And here we need to add the following characters in this line. After this, we save the file. And now, when we are executing the script again, we are not receiving the error anymore. Now, let's go back to the actual procedure of updating the Java package on the Enterprise Manager. And before that, the first thing we need to do is to confirm that the Java version that we have is version 11 or 17. For that, we just need to execute the command Java versions. Okay, here we see that our package is actually version 17, so we are good to execute the script. After we have confirmed that our Java version is supported, what we need to know is where is our Java package installed. So to know where is our Java package home path, we can execute the following command, which is included in our official documentation. So here we can see the home path of our Java package, and we can proceed to execute the script. The script is located in our Enterprise Manager Home BMC install scripts folder. We execute the script, we follow the instructions of the prompt, and we introduce the parameters as required. Here we enter the home path again. Once finished, a confirmation message appears when the update is completed. To confirm that our Java package has been updated successfully, we can check the content of the file that I'm showing in the screen under the BMC install folder. As you can see, the Java home variables have the value of our Java package installation path. Now, let's do the same procedure, but on a control M server installed on a Windows server machine. Okay, so here we are in our Windows Server machine in the location of the script, which is the Control M Server home pad, the PMC install folder, and the script folder. From here, we will open a command line as administrator. And as we did with the Enterprise Manager, the first thing we need to do 
is to confirm that our Java package version is supported. So here we execute the Java version command. As we can see, is the version is 17, so it is supported. The next thing we need to know is where is our Java packet installed. So for that, we need to execute the command that I'm showing in the screen, which is also available in the official documentation. Here we see our Java package install path. And now we can proceed to execute the script. After that, we introduce the parameters as required. And when the script is finished, we will receive this message saying that the update was done successfully. If we want to confirm that the Java packet was updated successfully in Windows, we need to check it in our environment variables. For that, we need to check it on our system properties. We check on environment variables. And as we can see here, the Java home variable has our Java package installation path. This concludes our demonstration of how to update the GRE package used by Control M Enterprise Manager and Control M Server. I will hand it back to you, Trini. Thank you, Adrian, for showing how to update the JRE package for Control M Enterprise Manager and Control M Server. Next up, Ryan will demonstrate how to update the JRE package for Control M Application Integrator. Ryan, please go ahead. Thank you for the introduction. Today, we'll look at the Control M Application Integrator version 921. We'll focus on a common scenario faced by Control M administrators, which is the need to update the Java package the Application Integrator uses. With the release of Control M 921, the Control M Application Integrator has been separated from the application pack. It's now integrated with the Control M agent installation, streamlining the update process for administrators. Let's look at Java support. As part of the Control M Agent version 921, Application Integrator is compatible with Java 11 and 17, specifically for minor versions 11.0.16 and 17.0.1 and onwards. My current setup uses Java 11. Today, we'll go through the process to update it to Java 17. Moving on to the process, let's start with the pre-upgrade tasks. I'll be using Eclipse Adoptium Java for this demo, but you can choose any Java version listed as compatible in our release notes. So let's go to their download page and download the version that we need. So in today's demo, I'll show you how to update the application integrator Java on a 64-bit Linux agent to Java version 17. I've already selected the required options for the update, and after downloading the installation package, the next step is to transfer it to the agent machine. To save time, I've pre-downloaded and transferred the GRE package. Let's begin by verifying the current version of Control M Agent and Application Integrator. We can see that both the Control M Agent and Application Integrator are at version 921.200. Now we have to extract the package into a directory. I've created one called JRE17. We can extract it here. And here's a quick tip. Always check with your Java provider for the proper setup instructions. Now that Java is extracted, we'll turn our attention to the external javapath.dat file located in your home BMC install directory. Here we'll specify an alternative Java home. We'll do this by updating the CMAI Java home parameter to point to our new JRE17 path.
Our next step is to stop the application integrator container to allow the transition to the new Java version. We can do this with the command control M C M A I E X E C M underscore container stop. Don't worry, the application integrator container will start back up automatically. Okay, so let's take another look at the external Java path.dat file. You'll notice that the application integrator has successfully transitioned to using the new JRE 17. You can also run a command to confirm the update. Something like ps-ef pipe grep app name AI will show us the application integrator is now running with Java 17. All right, good. And for those of you that are on the Windows OS, the process is just the same. Now, this concludes this demo. Uh, back to you, Trini. Thank you, Ryan, for showing how to update the JRE package for Control M application integrator. All right, everyone, that concludes our session for today. On behalf of Jonathan, Adrian, Ryan, and the entire Connect with Control M team, thank you for spending some time with us today. We look forward to you taking advantage of the features that we demonstrated today. Stick around for the Q&A session where we will take your questions. But first, you can learn more about the BMC education course, Control M Fundamentals Operating, by clicking on the link in the link section below, or you can visit the bit.ly link you see on the screen. Your feedback shapes our future webinars. We would appreciate it if you will take a moment and answer a few questions for us in the survey that you will receive later today. You can find Control M on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Links for each can be found in the link section below. You can watch previous webinars on the Control M channel on YouTube. Today's webinar will be posted there within a couple of days. Let's kick off the Q&A. As a reminder, you can, enter, you can enter your questions on the Ask a Question section at any time.